Unfortunately, we have yet another investment platform that is on the way out in just a few days' time. Now, I don't enjoy these videos, but this is already the third investment platform that I'm talking about this year that is sort of threatened for closure, or in this case, has announced its permanent closure effective September 13th, 2024. While the two previous investment apps that I talked about are sort of still in the balance, Seedin Technologies is still trying to pay back money that it owes investors such as ourselves. And on the other hand, we have eToro, which is not closing down, but it's standing with the SEC, puts it on shaky ground. And the investment app that has announced its permanent closure this September is Shari Shari. It's actually a homegrown app that lets us Filipinos invest in the US and global markets. So as of my knowledge, it's the only Philippine-based app that lets us Filipinos do this. So this is very, very sad news. But Shari Shari has been kind enough to give us a heads up and tell us what to do in light of this upcoming closure. So this is what we'll look to cover in this video. So let's not waste any time and talk about what are the next steps that you can do. Let's go. But before anything, if you are new to this channel, hi, I'm Mark. It's nice to meet you. In this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle, but I mostly talk about business and investments. I've talked about Shari Shari in a number of videos in the past. I have to let you guys know that yes, it's closing and this is what you can do so that you are able to withdraw your money in time. So let me pull up the email of Shari Shari dated August 13th. I'm sorry that this video is also coming a little late. Dear Shari Shari customers, it is with a heavy heart that we write to inform you of a significant decision that Shari Shari will be closing its operation on Friday, September 13th, 2024. Alpaca Securities, Shari Shari's US partner brokerage, has informed us of their decision to pivot business focus and cease collaboration with Shari Shari as a technology provider. So let's now move on to what you should be doing if you are invested and are a user of Shari Shari. Option number one is to liquidate your assets, withdraw your cash, and close your account. So as a refresher, you can click on Portfolio, the middle tab on the Shari Shari app. So when you click on Portfolio, you are able to see here your stock positions. From your portfolio, you can click on your stocks and sell them one by one. Once you have sold them, this will go into the equities portion or your buying power. So I think you do need to wait a while before it gets credited. Once they are credited into your equity or buying power, you can now proceed with withdrawing the funds. So click on more and click on account. Under this account portion, you see here the available cash that you can withdraw. Click on request for withdrawal. And here it will be displayed what bank account you have previously enrolled and you can stipulate here the amount that you would want to withdraw. In case you haven't registered any bank account previously, you would have to take a step back, click on more again in account just like as we did earlier. Here you can click on manage bank accounts. From this portion, you can add bank account where you will be inputting the bank name, the account number, your name, the bank swift code that you can easily Google. So again, this is the first step that you need to make before withdrawing if you don't have a registered bank account just yet. There are actually new fees that Shai Shari imposed as of August 13th. The fees actually surprised me. If you are withdrawing less than $100, the fees are $7 each time. So that's a little pricey. If you are withdrawing more than $100, the fees are at $55 each time. So I honestly think that's ridiculous. I think they are just trying to really cover whatever costs that they have left in trying to run the company. It's not a good look, but I guess that's that. There's really no other option to be able to withdraw at a cheaper rate. So option number one would be you liquidating and withdrawing your funds. But Shai Shai does not completely limit your options to only that. Option number two, which is to create an Alpaca individual account and move assets there. So just for curiosity, I actually tried this. I visited the Alpaca website signed up with my email and the usual registration process. So what Shari Shari is saying here is that you don't have to exit your positions, especially if you're still in the red, if you have stocks of Microsoft, Facebook, or whatever, you can keep them. And you can instead open an Alpaca account. So the website is alpaca.markets. And once you have registered, they are advising to email support 
at alpaca.markets to make sure that you have the same email address that you are using from your Shari Shari account and use the subject transfer my holdings from Shari Shari to Alpaca. Once they receive this email, they will move the assets from your account to your new Alpaca account. I didn't go through the whole process of moving my stocks. Um, I actually liquidated my stocks uh, a little while back earlier in the year when Shari Shari started raising their subscription fees. That's the reason why the last time I probably mentioned Shari Shari was maybe earlier in the year or maybe even late last year. Um, I couldn't recommend it anymore because of their fees. Anyway, going back, the user interface is very different from Shari Shari. I didn't spend a lot of time on it, but it just didn't seem as user-friendly as the other US trading platforms or even Shari Shari. Shari Shari says that there are other fees incurred when you do this, so I'm not exactly sure. I haven't found those fees just yet, but I'm thinking that it might be similar to the withdrawal fees as well. And moving on to number three, a third option would be to open an account with another broker or dealer. From my end, unfortunately, I can't recommend brokers or entities that we can work with from here in the Philippines. I really don't know right now because I only know of the more commercial and widely accepted apps. If you do open an account with a brokerage that is not Alpaca, then they can also transfer your stocks, your holding positions. But yeah, as to what brokerages are those and what are their requirements, I don't have that info. Um, if I do find those, I may just post them in the comment section or in the description section. So basically, those are your three options. The good thing that I'm seeing here from their advisory is that if you have an existing subscription, obviously your subscription will no longer be renewed. Any overpayments will be refunded to your credit card. So I guess if you subscribe for a year and whatever months that are not used will be retroactive and be credited back to your account. So at least on this end, on the subscription side, you'll be able to get your money back. So I guess that's that. Uh, you have your three options. You guys have been asking me about what I think about this, what my opinion is. Uh, like I said earlier, I feel sad that the only Philippine-based U.S. stock trading platform is closing down. I really wanted it to work. I really wanted it to help Filipinos get on the global stock trading platform. In many ways, I guess the writing was also already on the wall. I mean, not that I predicted this or anything, but um, when Shari Shari started really increasing their fees, when their competitors, the more famous apps, were not charging the same fees or subscription that Shari Shari was, I guess even then I could feel that Shari Shari was really trying to find a way to monetize. It's hard to monetize these apps when you are not yet on that level where there is a huge user base and, and they don't have the sort of pull or the clout just to be able to get better deals for their users. So another reason why I thought that the writing was on the wall was that when the SEC came out with their press release about eToro, they stated there that anything that's being invested in traded should be registered with the local SEC. So my interpretation there is really none of these global stock trading platforms is currently allowed locally in the Philippines. So that's another reason why I thought that this was somewhat looming. Another thing that I wanted to point out, maybe unrelated or maybe this is just pure speculation. I've talked about in the past over two years ago about the global stocks icon under G-Invest, under G-Cash. I'm surprised that over two years later, this still has yet to launch. When you click on it, the only thing that it says is coming soon. And it's been pretty much like this in the last two years. Actually, at one point, they did open it up. It was a little confusing because global stocks was a stock trading game where people could win money. So just like many of the games out there, it was like a competition, a tournament, but it wasn't what it was supposed to be and what people were ex expecting. And until now, they still don't have anything working with the Gcash Invest Global Stock section. So I feel like all these, eToro, SEC, and now Shari Shari biting the dust, I feel like somehow these are all related about global stocks not really wanting to be sold here in the Philippines by the SEC. Again, this is pure speculation. I could be wrong, but trying to understand the fine print, what the SEC is saying and what they are allowing and disallowing. I feel like these are all related. So yes, it's sad that we're not able to invest in these US and global stocks directly. 
but yeah i guess regulation is coming in and right now we're taking a step back i'm hopeful that it will get worked out hopefully it's gcash G invest that is able to justify this with the sec and that they're able to deliver on, on g invest global stock soon and lastly a lot of you also ask me when i talk about the s p 500 and i always say that i invest a lot of these through the banks um, a lot of you have said that why not just invest directly in one or two of these online trading platforms well for me this is the reason why i mean if i want to put a lot of my money and really grow it for not even years but decades it's hard to bank on these new apps such as this um chari chari like we don't know like we had a one month advisory i didn't even catch it right away so i'm still finding more comfort in just working through uitfs that are offered by banks you know that i've talked a lot about this in my previous videos um again i used bpi a lot before but now currently i'm using east west for my s p 500 fund so what do you think about all this this closure of shari shari do you agree with me that this is somehow all related with the sec etoro and gcash global stocks let me know in the comment section if you've liked this video please don't forget to like comment and consider subscribing if you haven't already thanks again for watching guys and happy investing get your money out of shari shari